it's dessert time. I'm going to show you these quickly. So these are the allergens that are labelled on there. I've got the I'm going to show you what I'm eating as a celiac while well, I'm all inclusive at a hotel in Turkey. Hang on a second. Um, I'm staying safe for my first night because I didn't really have a proper chance to look at the meals, but there was this, um, I think it's called a raspberry, what they call that raspberry mousse type thing. And that was labelled up as gluten free, so that's that. Just got some chicken and some other bits. So I will show you over the next couple of days what it is that I eat. This was so good. They just said straight down to the restaurant. It's nearly not going to cook at night. And before they put it all away, we've got some food, which is amazing. Um, it looks incredible here. We've got to be lucky. We're just packing it away, and we literally just arrived at nine o'clock, and they was like, "Quick, go get some food." And also, through the other side of the serving area, you can see into the kitchen, which is pretty impressive. So you know they're going to be working as hygienically as possible. And these models on the top are cute. Look at those. I think they made a past yard. First morning's breakfast looks amazing, let me show you. So I was really pleased to say they've got an omelette station, which is amazing. So I can't remember what I've got in that, but some herbs, cheese, um, tomato, and then I've added some mozzarella, some puree and cheese, Stilton. I've added some Stilton, some mushrooms with cheese, some smoked uh, chicken, I think that is. I've also got myself a cappuccino, a fresh orange juice with some bits in it, which is lovely. And this was a, a water which has got mint and lime and stuff like that in it. So it's really nice. You're right, what you got there? So this is not gluten free from. Not sure. Not sure what that is, but it looked like a local dish that we thought we'd try. Not too sure if you like it, though. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, and then I've got kind of a little dessert thing going on, which I quite like for breakfast. So I've got peach flavoured yogurt there, and I've got some chopped nuts, some chia seeds, which is always a good idea, some honey, which is fresh from the honeycomb, some raisins, some pistachios. Um, I don't know if I'm going to mix them up with them like that. And because I am from Turkey, I've got a little bit of Turkey so like I won't be eating like this every, day, every morning, but. It's a lot actually, my yogurt, my um, a bit big thing. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that, that would be really, really nice. So we've decided to sit here and have a nice coffee, and I've got a mint tea coming as well, which I'm really excited for. I just sit about in the lobby bar for a little bit, just chill. Thank you very much. Oh, I got mint tea. Mint lemon tea. Perfect, thank you very much. Lovely, thank you. It's the first lunch on day, kind of day one really, and I'm not really hungry. Um, but this was all labelled up really well. Um, very impressed actually. So I've got some sweet sour chicken, some chips, some roast potatoes. Can you remember what that beef thing was? Was it like a goulash or something, I think? Um, and then there's desserts, which is amazing. So the coconut cakey thing and panna cotta. Panna cotta, nine times out of ten, will be gluten free. So I thought I'd give those a little taste as well. Thank goodness there's some food. I'm joking. I'm joking. But this is the pastry thing in the afternoon. Hey, I didn't panna cotta. Don't want panna cotta. It's nice rolls there. Yeah, it looks nice. So the lady was absolutely insistent that for afternoon tea this is gluten free. I really don't think it will be gluten free. It does look very nice. <laughs> um, I don't know. Nathan's going to try it, aren't you? Okay. See if you think that it's going to be. I think that's a biscuit base, I'm okay. sure. And we are still looking at the label. She said, no, no, it's not that one. This one's blackberry. No, is it, it's got gluten. Okay. So that's something that you need to be careful of in places. Just, I mean, it wouldn't be that colour if it's blackberry. No. It was, it was it, raspberry yeah. sign. Yeah, the sign said raspberry and it had gluten on it. But I asked her to check and double check. She was like, no, no, no. This is this is not the one. So I think... It's raspberry. It's raspberry. Okay, so... So I've just been given that, even though I checked and double checked it was gluten free. This isn't indicative of this hotel, this is just how things are generally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the afternoon tea, which is fine. Uh, because I'd rather do that and be well. Okay, so dinner on day number two. 
Um, and now I think well, this this is turkey. This was labelled up that it did have gluten, but so many things were labelled not that great. But anyway, so I've just gone with my with my gut, and I've chosen some vegetables, some definitely wise potatoes, a couple of chips. Um, I think all of this is fine. Just that I'm not too sure about. Um, but otherwise, there wasn't any anything proteiny or meat, meaty that, that was up there. But I'm going to enjoy that because it's lovely. Um, I would suggest if you're coming to this particular hotel, speak to them beforehand. Okay, it's dessert time. I'm going to show you these quickly. So these are the allergens that are labelled on there. They've got the calories look and your macros, which is amazing. Um, I haven't managed to find these are. Um, meringues, so I may nick a meringue, but everything else, see, it looks really good. In fact, dinner was absolutely lovely. We enjoyed dinner, they do look so so nice. I'm just trying to figure out anything that's not labeled with wheat, and I don't think there is. So, I think I'll pan across her again. I don't really want that, right? So, this is what I've chosen I've got some ice cream and some um, meringues. Yours looks nice. Those. those are not gluten free. I don't think any of those are gluten free, but they look no. delicious. So, um, yeah, dinner was really nice, wasn't it? It was really good. Well, nice. So, this is what we have in the pudding. Good. Does the really good. Also, got some orange juice and some coffee and some detox water, which apparently Nathan is 45 calories. Oh, we shut the door now. Thank you, mate. Dutton. 45 calories per glass of water. So, yeah, because only, but anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. This was delicious yesterday. Okay, and I really enjoy this for breakfast. So, this is um, I've got peach yogurt, and as you can see, I've got I don't know if these are different types of chia seeds, I'm not sure what they are, but these are chia seeds as I know it. Some chopped pistachios, chopped hazelnuts, and some sultanas by the looks of it. So I'm going to enjoy that with another cup of detox water. Okay, it's lunchtime, not too hungry today, so I've got some what looks like lovely grilled chicken, a couple of chips, a bit of sweet corn. Don't want to have sweet corn and some buttered carrots. I'm going to take the onion out of that because that doesn't sit too well with me. Plus, what a duck and a view like that. So there's loads of stuff out there today that's like grilled stuff like fish and things. So quite a nice sort of choice. I've been a fool to live without your love. It's like I've been waiting all around for you. Why did you take so long to come to me? Maybe you were waiting round for me too. So. So I came to film all the food and stuff now. I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this is my dinner tonight. I think I may have been glutened. I've not felt very well today. I've been very tired. My arms and legs feel like they don't belong to me. So I've gone for chips, which of course probably cross contaminated. And then these other bits that say that they don't have any, but I don't know. Um, yeah, don't know. But uh, I'm going to enjoy the chips because they are nice. But whether they're cooked separate, I don't think they are, probably. So my last morning breakfast here is a little different. So I've gone for a piece of smoked cheese, 
some smoked turkey, some beef ham, because there won't be pork ham here because it's, uh, it's a Muslim country. Some milky scrambled egg, they called it, and they called that Turkish string cheese, which to me looks a little mozzarella -y. and a roast potato, and then also yogurt, chia seeds, nuts, and I've got um, peach flavour, mm. and um, Turkish delight, orange juice, cappuccino so i'm in the restaurant having my breakfast and i've just got to say the food here is really good really really tasty i've been really impressed except their labor is not very good but um but you know it's i would say speak to the chef or the manager and just say like you've got food allergies or whatever and just sort that out at the beginning although they did ask us in reception as we were checking in have you got any allergies so that was really good i've never had that before um coffee's really good uh, sometimes it's hit and miss in these places i do like my yogurt and the fresh orange juice is cute so yeah really lovely food i give that a big thumbs up i nearly forgot to film my last meal so sorry i have just dived in i've got turkey and chips basically and this turkey is really tasty there is a little thing of your mayonnaise which is cute um I'm just being really careful because we're flying on the plane this afternoon. We said last dinner. So I'm trying to find something to eat that's gluten free that we can take on the plane. Uh, we've got classic Lay's, and as we probably all know by now, Lay's are like the best crisps in the world. There are chocolate bars for three euros, which is pretty expensive, but these do look really nice, just not for me. There's Fiji water as well. Look at that. Bottles of wine. So yeah, may just have to eat crisps, which is not ideal. Oh, look, gluten-free, what's this? Oh, I had these last time, did I? I don't know, they're gluten-free something.